Hey everyone, Henry from Smoky Hills Outdoor Store. It's a cold morning, but I want to show everybody something really cool. I've never done a video on one of these, and it is a stub house. And we're going to call it a 21 foot stub house uh, because it is a 17 foot house with a 5 foot stub. Uh, so it's really more like a 17 foot V front than it really is a tandem axle 21. This one's called the hideout, a little bit confusing, it's not a sportsman's hideout, it's just called the hideout. It's a non-RV unit and I think it's really cool, it's, it's a very nice design inside and it lends itself up front to a lot of cool options. First thing I want to do is I want to show everybody a little bit of this uh, newly designed frame from Valley. And what we have is a couple of new things that's going on here. One of the first things is you have a place to put the uh, plug-in and of course your chains. You'll notice that there's a center jack on this house, although it is just a single crank up. So it still has, uh, or it has now has, the center jack, which I think is pretty cool. We're going to go a little bit over to one of the sides. And you're going to see that this has changed a bit as well. So there's a newly designed um, kind of a mud flap here or a wheel cupboard here. You'll see that looks a little bit different. Uh, and of course we have some holders on the frame as well. I've noticed quite a few different changes on this frame. And I have to say that's pretty cool. You know, all the frame manufacturers are definitely stepping up their game. And I'm glad to see that Valley is, you know, one of the front runners in doing this to give us a newly designed uh, single axle crank up frame. So I'm looking forward. I'll talk a little bit to Chad and see all the different things they're doing. But this is the first time when, for the first house we've seen on the lot with this new frame. Let's head inside where it's hopefully warmer. So here's a pretty good view. You've got your stub front. And then we're going to head into this house. So I'm actually going to start up front because that's what everybody wants to see. Of course, bunks in the V. So by having a stub front, the front is going to be larger. So what we have is, is we have the bathroom towards the front of the house. So it's kind of out of the way here. We have the two bunks in the back. And there's actually quite a bit more space up front here. Uh, we can even put, you know, the fridge right up front in the V. And I'm going to have you take a peek in there. I'm going to lift this up a little bit just to show you. I'm going to have to hold this, Justin. How much space is actually in front here? And that's because of that stub front. We've got a pretty big kitchen once again because it's got the stub front. This kitchen can extend, so we have a really big countertop. This house has a sink, but it's just a sink that's going to drain into a bucket. Or this specific model does have, I'm sorry, this specific model does have the gray water bypass, so you can actually drain outside as well, which is pretty cool in this house. Yeah, stove, oven, pretty standard stuff up there. Then we get into the back and we actually have an electric lift bed, which just completely opens up all the space i really really do like that um i have to mention good spot for the tv i think it's a pretty good spot for the tv even if you are up front if the tv is here and you angle it you can definitely see it from up front and you can definitely see it in the back uh, if i was sleeping up top i would lay with my head on this side so i can see that tv um, cool little house you know it's not every day that we get a new 17 foot model should call it a 21 foot stub model but this is it the hideout brand new from ice castle for 2021 uh, i think this one's already sold but uh, hopefully we'll see more of them thanks for watching